This segment provides a high-level approach to understanding some of the key components of EPMP performance metrics. The first counters listed on the Monitor Performance page are Ethernet and wireless statistics. In addition to displaying total traffic, packets, and multicast and broadcast data, the Ethernet statistics sections display packet errors and packet drops for both transmitted data and received data. The packet errors statistic displays how many errors were encountered due to collisions, CRC errors, or irregular packet size. If this statistic constitutes more than 1% of the total packet count, there may be an issue with cabling or there may be a malfunctioning Ethernet interface in the data network. The packet drops statistic represents the total number of packets dropped to Ethernet setup or filtering configuration. If this counter is increasing, Check the software configuration on both the EPMP equipment and co-resident networking equipment. Similar to the Ethernet metrics, the wireless statistics section provides total traffic packets and multicast and broadcast data counters. An increasing error drop packets statistic indicates that packets are being dropped due to no return acknowledgement or other RF error. Check for interference which may be causing acknowledgements to be lost over the radio link. An increasing retransmission packets counter may also indicate interference local to the near or far end of the radio link. In contrast to the error drop packet statistic, the retransmission packets counter indicates that the packet was retransmitted and eventually received and acknowledged from the far end of the radio link. An increasing capacity drop packets counter is an indicator that the network is overloaded and there is data buffer or queue overflow or that there are other performance or internal packet errors. In this case, it is important to assess the operating capacity and traffic at the AP to determine if bandwidth restrictions need to be imposed or if unwanted data is traversing the network, such as excessive broadcast messaging. To view a breakdown of these statistics for each subscriber module, scroll down to the subscriber module statistics table. On the SM, the wireless statistics uplink section lists two additional metrics, link quality and link capacity. If link quality is low, it is probable that radio interference is causing the device to resend signaling to achieve successful delivery. Consider running a spectrum analysis on site or consider using the EPMP eDetect tool via the device web management interface to profile interference levels that may be reducing link quality. Link capacity is based on the current operating MCS rate adapt level of throughput compared to the theoretical throughput of the highest MCS level, MCS 15. This value is based on the link budget of the wireless connection. Operators may check antenna alignment and positioning and transmitter output power levels to maximize the link capacity of an EPMP wireless connection. The downlink and uplink packets per MCS sections indicate how many packets were transmitted and what percentage of total packets were successfully transmitted for each MCS state. This metric provides a view of the capacity and quality of the uplink and downlink. If a high percentage of packets are transmitted at a lower MCS than the link budget supports, you may need to check RSSI and SNR levels to make sure that antenna alignment cabling, or interference is not degrading the quality of the radio signaling. The downlink and uplink frame time statistics are a mechanism to understand how effectively the RF channel is being utilized. This feature allows operators to monitor TDD frame utilization patterns and to diagnose excessive usage in the uplink or downlink direction. If utilization is consistently approaching 100%, corrective maintenance such as additional sectorization or uplink-downlink ratio tuning may be required to improve RF channel utilization. For more videos and information, visit the Cambium Network's community forum.